MLive's Brendan Quinn here following Michigan 79-61 win over Marquette. And this one was a bit of a revelation for the Wolverines, I think. Uh, when you look at beyond the numbers, five players in, in double figures, uh, some really nice performances across the board, this was a night that kind of displayed, I think, some depth and versatility that, that I don't know if anyone really anticipated for the Wolverines this year. Um, Marquette is a team picks to finish seventh in the Big East, not particularly good. Their ball screen defense was a major issue all night. But what Michigan showed right now in terms of the different combinations and looks that, that they can offer with a, with a growing roster that seems to be getting better here in the early season. Um, at one point, uh, John Beeline went small in the first half, and then at a point in the uh, second half, he had uh, Derek Walton operating at the point guard alongside 6'6", Zach Irvin, 6'8", Duncan Robinson, 6'10", DJ uh, uh, Moritz Wagner and 6'11", DJ Wilson. It was the biggest lineup that anyone had seen John Beeline field probably in his Michigan tenure. So this is a really different look. And, and, and the, the emergence of Wilson right now is really changing a lot of things for this Michigan team. It's changing what they can do on both ends of the floor. It's given them a front court presence uh, that has long been, been asked for by many Michigan fans. And, um, and it's showing up on the rebounds. It's 12 rebounds tonight for, for DJ Wilson um, against a little bit of an undersized team. but. This is a real team. It's a Big East basketball team. This was not a this was not a buy game. This was played at Madison Square Garden against Marquette. Um, it was a big deal. I think it's a big deal for DJ Wilson's confidence. I think it's a big deal for Michigan's confidence going forward. And, and they're going to get a real test tomorrow in SMU. That's not only going to test you know their skill level. I think they've clearly shown that they can that they can run some really nice stuff. This is going to be a game that actually tests their metal, that tests their their confidence, that tests their willingness to play some physical basketball. That's been missing the last two years. So that will be able to be seen uh, tomorrow night when, when they come back here for, for a matchup against SMU. Um, and I will be there to talk about it. So uh, until then, as always, thanks for watching.